cougar area for a multitude of reasons. I chose this particular drop zone because of a memory I had in the late 90s jumping into uh, Blackstone uh, above, the, uh, above the tree line when I was a young captain. Um, and we did a similar type thing. It was a five hour flight. We did in-flight dressing, i.e. got all our equipment on while we were in the, in the aircraft. And uh, it was very picturesque when, you know, when the plane leaves and there's mountains on one side or, or pseudo mountains, and it's completely flat on the other side to look around and see nothing but shoots in the air and uh, and an unbelievable terrain is a memory that i'll never forget and uh, i told the guys that uh well for the last couple months while we were talking about doing this exercise and i wanted to make sure that these guys uh experience the same thing uh you know I, I actually i get a kick out of watching them and jumping with them so uh, i don't get the same adrenaline rush personally um, of just going through the act of jumping but uh, being out here with some guys that have never jumped before other than their basic course, uh, it's great to see. So to see the excitement on their face, they were a little worried as to what the drop zone was going to be like because uh, they heard we were jumping on a frozen lake and they thought it would be just like tarmac, which, you know, is, is hard and obviously uh, more prone to injuries. Uh, but it worked out very, very well. And uh, so to see their excitement, listen to them talk as soon as they hit the ground and stuff like that, that's what, that's what gives me the adrenaline and the boost.